to the traffic of where the other team are looking to uh, or to have a lot of players to make it difficult the other fact as well this is an international match this isn't some club game or a little recreational game there's the best part of 6,000 I guess that's what separates the good from the great so Perry couldn't go after that one he was the guy at the back row on the baseline almost off the court for exactly that reason so they can chase those type of shots and up or down only in or out and the ball still isn't down now it is though and it's off the block setting up for a spike to one of going to chase the ball down but as to whether it's short or long it's entirely up to the player touching me from australia that could have only come back cross court they're a little late to react and now japan have a chance and take it well that was a waste and Shimizu dug that ball over. There was only one place it could go, and that was cross court. But nobody moved around for Australia. Go back and still not know what's going on. It's a very different ethos with the women's team. And refreshing to see with the way that Kart, the first one that I've seen doing it on television. Brilliant play. Well, you can see that rush of adrenaline. Excellent pickup. The crowd enjoying it mid rally, and then Shimizu, buoyed by that, comes in and plants by slowing it down. The libero doing his job by picking it up, and then Shimizu. That speed you get through it. Still the ball is Play. Well, that's just too difficult. Little pokey. Now, what have Japan got? Shimizu, block out. Staple set. Another chance, maybe, for Edgar. Oh, brilliant digging. Shimizu now has a chance, and he takes it. At the first technical. what they will consider to be a very important side out in the context of this match potentially now and now free ball for Japan did it go outside the antenna they think it did the lines judge says it did it doesn't matter it's off the block and out it's all over Japan have done it they have won the match by three sets to one. 